welcome back to this channel it's Max from the Max Creation if it's your first time to come across this channel consider supporting this channel support this channel support Max Creation by subscribing to this channel by the way don't forget to hit that notification bell it's always very important for you to update whenever you upload a new video don't forget to like the hit uh, check on my tiktok account still at make creation where we have the latest updates around Qatar, the latest news updates also don't forget to check about Mal malcolm x uh, still another youtube channel which is called malcolm x tv it's also all about Qatar, some of the most important places you've never seen where we try get to travel trial to freely travel and discover or see how Qatar looks like. In today's video, we are going to look at driving jobs in Qatar. Remember, when we are talking about the driving jobs, we are looking at jobs from driving from light vehicles to heavy vehicles. And remember, before you get to plan to drive in Qatar, definitely you need to have what you call a license. You need to have a license for you to drive in Qatar. And not every all professionals allowed to drive in Qatar because uh, because if everyone was allowed to, to have a car, everyone to, to, have a, to drive a car, then probably uh, it will have a lot of congestion. That I think that is the reason behind that. Very few professions, depending on your visas, that are allowed to drive in Qatar in that case. So in today's video, we are also going to look at what we call the requirements. What are you supposed to have the requirements if you're planning to come as a driver or if you're planning to, to be a driver in Qatar. One of the requirements is supposed to have a passport. That is a passport is very mandatory. Remember when you talk about passport, we are talking about a travel detriment that everyone are planning to travel in one day or time that you should have because it is a, a passport is a requirement that will enable get a visa. And then another one, we look at the work visa. You should have that work visa. But something that you need to understand that not all work visas or not all visa status or not all visas being given out uh, in the profession that allows you to drive in in this case if you are going to definitely go, go to uh, you are thinking of having a career in driving then probably the only thing that you need to have is to come on what you call a driver's visa you come as a driver strictly your visa should come as a driver then probably in that case it will be a little bit very easier to get what you call a driving license you know or the other then also number three is that you should be medically fit which I always talk about medical fitness is very important because it will test your life in one way the, the, it will test you how physical you can how fit you can be to work in these Gulf countries remember when you have one medical fitness in your country you will definitely have a second medical fitness when you come to Qatar and remember when things go bad when things don't work out the way they're supposed to work out definitely your sponsor will have to deploy will have to uh, to deport you back to your country of origin in one way or and something still I want to tell you about medical tests don't remember don't forget to what you take what you call an eye test an eye test you remember is very important and most of the time an eye test is they give what you call a certificate to show that you can drive and your eyesight is properly very good for any relevant dog education certificate if you have it with you you can move around with you remember sometimes you don't have to limit your chances or you don't have to limit your opportunities you never know one opportunity may come in one way or the other that opportunity may come may require someone who has a document and when you come a document definitely you stand out in one way or the other in world where i keep on telling in sometimes in life uh, don't try to be the best but always be the first when other people don't have the document seemingly they don't need it and you have it at your side you never know an opportunity may come in and when that opportunity comes in definitely in one way or the other then probably you can take up and you can be elevated then also we look at a certificate of good conduct we like that is a certificate of good conduct which is we call the PCC the PCC that is a police clearance certificate is always very important because it is going to show is going to check out what you call the criminal record you have back in your country remember most of these countries do not want people who have had criminals who have had criminal cases before and uh, they will definitely deport you back in your country so that one you have a um, medical or we have what you call a PCC police client certificate or certificate of good conduct from your country which is definitely going to show that you have no criminal record then still also we talk about the height the height um, the height of um, a driver in Qatar uh, it is around an inch five feet six inch and for female it is five inch to twelve inch remember when we are talking about the drivers we are not meaning only the male they are also what you call female drivers we are also called female drivers in Qatar and definitely 
and the job goes all around and that's the all requirements will definitely all the requirements will, will be applicable to both of them then also the age of driving what you call the age the age should be 18 years uh, uh, for the motorcycles and for lightweights uh, for the light cars uh, should be around uh, the same age of 18 so so if if you're 18 years you can can take up a light vehicles a drive license for vehicle light vehicles then you can also take up motorcycles then at the age of 21 is the concept age where you should have for heavy vehicles so i think that is very also important to some to some companies also to some companies they will need someone who has an experience another point who has an experience of driving in his own country in one way so more map, probably the only way to prove out the out to yourself they will ask a copy of your driving license from your country and those people that have had an opportunity to drive in the gulf countries the other gulf countries not in qatar definitely your chances are hundred percent for you to get the job very fast compared to someone who has never had an experience driving in Gulf but still it does not have to stop you so long as you have the experience you always get that opportunity then also uh, remember they will ask a copy of your driving license from your country in case that and they will take you for what you call a driving test then also we look at the good communication skill is always very important if you're going to be what you call a uh, a driver in Qatar and you're going to do a driving job you definitely should have that communication skill either, uh, either uh, you should have communication skill in Arabic or you should have in English or even partially you should have in Hindi but you should be partial with a person that can easily communicate a person that can communicate with others such that you can give out what we call customer care remember when you're talking about driving uh, driving here in Qatar is always lands from what you call heavy to lightweight and uh, something that I definitely I need to let you know that all different driving uh, drivings are paid different amounts of money but the starting up out of my mama to the driver here in Qatar is around 2000 Qatar real and remember we have what we call lightweight drivers uh, people who are driving a motor a motor you know, a motorcycles we look at motorcycles those are bike drivers uh, the bike riders the river league riders then we also look at other people who are riding motorcycles for personal personal for personal reasons that is the part of their property then we look at uh, domestic workers that are house um, uh, house drivers then we shall also look we also look at what you call uh, company drivers we look at people are driving securities drivers in companies uh, drivers uh, VIP drivers drivers uh, for for you know all those are different kind of drive those are this kind of driving jobs but remember when we are talking about driving jobs is quite very broad something that very big something that you need to understand with the driving here in Qatar it is definitely one profession that is going to give you a good job it's going to give you good work and it's going to give you enough time to maneuver and rest otherwise something still you do not have to get out of it all that you do not need to drive carelessly because when you drive carelessly definitely you know there's a lot of cameras and you get those penalties but it's one job opportunity that you can take up when you take up the driving uh, driving the uh, job it will give you another option it will give you too much option in case you after you get that li license and in case you want to change because the driving opportunities here in Qatar a hundred percent there every day they look for drivers uh, we have the limousine drivers we have um, uh, government 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 transport system where we have the mall slot where we have the car war. they also need drivers because look at the FIFA World Cup right now that's going to take place a lot of drivers have been recruited for that course and there's still a lot of drivers will be recruited for the same and remember when we talk about 2023 we also cannot fail to mention what you call Expo uh, Doha Qatar Expo 2023 that will be starting partially that is proposed to be starting in October 2023 it's also another opportunity that we definitely need not to underestimate so the opportunities of the driving are there so much but the first time i keep on telling is always be very better when the first time when you're coming as a driver you come as what you call you come with the, under what you call a visa sponsorship you work according to your contract you finish up your contract then you can look for your own job as a driver in one or that and even it becomes very easier for you to access when you have that visa as a driver you can have the license with you other than coming uh, in another profession it becomes very hard for you to get what you call a driver's license so you find that some of those requirements that i've given you that i've mentioned about 
they will enable you get what we call a driving license or enable you get what we call a job uh, having a job here in Qatar very fast for that course hope i've tried to share up something for you and remember it's next from the next question see you again in the next video as we're trying to see more of these interesting stories thank you so much see you again in the next video it's next from the next question